the AGM-65 Maverick, standoff fire and forget missile designed for taking out vehicles and tanks. The Phantom can carry them on inboard wing pylons, singular with aim 9s when using the special weapons adapter, or dual to triple racked. Model A gives a TV sensor image. B, a narrower zoomed TV image, and D, giving us infrared video and nighttime capability with wide and narrow fields of view. And lastly, the G model, functionally a D model but with a larger warhead and altered tracking algorithm for larger targets, limited to single mount. Let's get set up. Five minutes before our target area, double the pylons carrying our Mavericks. Set delivery mode to direct and weapon select to TV. Selecting the TV position begins the gyro warm-up. This takes about 3 minutes, so set a stopwatch for easy reference. If you prematurely activate the missiles before, you could severely damage the guidance. As we wait, we'll set the air to ground sight and reticle depression to 45 mils, which roughly matches the bore sight of our missiles. The wizard should take this time to ensure weapon is illuminated on the video select button, toggled by pushing said button. A couple minutes later, we'll select TV DSCG mode for our display and set the master arm on, at which point you should see arm illuminated under your stations. If not, the missiles are not ready for use, so give them more time. We're now ready. Starting with the pilot, we'll demonstrate an A-model Maverick. Roll in visually on your target. Pull the flight stick trigger to jettison the protective dome cover and start video feed. Press and hold the air-to-air -air refueling button to enable slewing, and then use the forward hand control to steer it onto target. Upon releasing the air-to-air -air refueling button, the missile automatically attempts a lock. A successful lock is indicated by the closed gates inside the crosshair surrounding the target boundary. Press and hold the bomb release to fire once you're confident you're within range. Mavericks have a typical range of 7 miles, up to the maximum of 12 from altitude. Generally, if you can achieve a lock, you can probably hit it. On release, video signal jumps to the next missile, blanked, being still covered. The launch missile will seek out its target independently. Let's try this from the Wizzo seat this time, with the model B Maverick. The pilot shall visually line up the target on the Pippa as before, calling out tracking as they hold it within the sight for you. Wizzo pulls the trigger on their own flight stick, jettisoning the cover and starting the video. Hold half action on the antenna hand control to enable the slew. The Wizzo affirms with tracking once you can visually see and identify the target. Slew over and go full action or release the antenna trigger to attempt a lock. Call out the lock to inform the pilot once you're happy. B model Mavericks indicate a good lock with solid squares bracketing the target boundary. You can also see the missile seeker facing indicated by the pointing cross. Finally, Eva crewman can hold their bomb release button to fire. Call slip lock if you cannot get a lock on for any reason, such as motion or partial obstruction. If you've got to abort, you're going to need to cage the missile before any heavy maneuvers to avoid damaging it. This is commanded by pulling the flight stick trigger. You must release the air-to-air -air refuel or the antenna first action beforehand. Finally, the D model being an IR sensor, it works well at night. You can swap the filter as pilot by clicking on the adjustment to the bottom right. The narrow field of view is represented by the brackets inside the display. Instead of caging with the flight stick trigger, it will toggle the field of view whilst caged, or whilst slew is enabled. Otherwise, it operates the same. The horizontal lines indicate 5, 10 and 15 degrees of reticle depression. Do not make the mistake of pulling the trigger to toggle your field of view after you've locked a target, as instead it will cage the missile back to the bore side, always zoom before, if you intend to visually examine something. The missiles do not stabilise to the ground, so smooth flying will be necessary to make it easier to aim, particularly for the wizard's sake. The pilot may also cycle to the next missile on a station, if you believe you have a fault, by pressing missile reject. Otherwise, deselect the faulty station and switch across. You can also select the targeting priority from light to dark with the Maverick Contrast Lock Priority Switch in either cockpit. Middle will automatically attempt to find the best, but you might find it necessary to force a specific contrast in some situations to ensure the correct tracking. You can also adjust the contrast with the display controls. 
from jet to jet, it might be necessary to manually boresight the reticule to your missiles. This is done by setting our sight to air to ground, set 45 mils as before, and enable your missile video. Ensure the Maverick is caged to its boresight. Pick a visual target to align on and adjust the mils of reticle depression as needed to best match up with the sight of your missile. You cannot account for horizontal drift, so manually note any offset visually on the reticule. You don't need it to be perfect, just close enough. You may find each wing station is slightly different, but those together on a rack will be the same. Each missile has a maximum operating time of 30 minutes, so power them down afterwards and during travel. Done by deselecting the TV position from our weapon style, after which you will need to perform the warm up again later. Don't forget to reset the mode and station select if necessary. There is one more cage mode to be aware of. If you depower or deselect a station after having popped the cover to boresight it, it will return to a mechanical cage. Next time you power it up to select this particular Maverick, it will be mechanically caged but displaying video. You will need to press the flight stick trigger once more to return to the electronic caging to allow use, even though the cap has already been blown off. Lastly, if you do not receive a video on a trigger pull, double check the station's show arm and make sure your WIZO has selected weapon from the video select, otherwise it will remain blank. That's it for Mavericks, I hope you enjoyed, and take care.